Okay, so now I'm going to review the 2019 all new Toyota Rush. So the Rush is has been in Malaysian markets for a long time. So in 2019, UMW Toyota introduced the new Toyota Rush in Malaysia. So the Toyota Rush does come with two variants, which is the G variant, which price tag around 92,680 ringgit, while the highest spec, the S variant, costs around 96,006. 680 ringgit. So in today's video, I want I would like to compare the Toyota Rush with the Perodua Arus. So what you get for the Toyota Rush, what you get in the Perodua Arus. So you, I will make the comparison video today. So when you look at the front, right, uh, it's basically identical to the Perodua's SUV, Perodua Arus. But for the Toyota Rush, you get additional feature compared to the Perodua Arus. So let's start with the exterior features. So for the exterior, the Proto Arus and the Toyota Rush has LED headlights standard across the range, but additionally for the Toyota Rush, you get LED DRL while the Toyota uh, Proto Arus does not equip it. And you get 360 degree camera for the Toyota Rush, but not Proto Arus. And also the front is more aggressive compared to the Proto Arus more cleaner design. So in my opinion, I personally prefer the Proto Arus cleaner design, but this is all about personal preference. And for for the Toyota Rush, you get front parking sensors and also the pretty aggressive sides, sides panel and also the body kits to integrate it with the front fog lights. And this color makes the car more outdoor nature. Down here you get 16, 17 inch alloy, dual tone alloy rims, same with the Proto Arus, but Toyota Rush gets the different design. This is like the A blade, so they share the same engine, 1.5 liter dual VTTI engine with a 4 speed automatic transmission. And also, the Toyota Arus, uh, Toyota Rush equipped with the safety ASA system it's not exactly the ASA it's advanced safety assist what the product calls it but the Toyota Rush share the same hardware as the Proto Arus but with with more advanced features with pedestrian detection and also blind spot warning and rear cross traffic alert and front collision warning At the side, you get killer sentry, killer start standard across the Toyota Rush range, and you get the black roof rail. And the dimension wise is is the same as the Proto Arus. At the rear, in the Toyota Rush, you get LED tail lights. is is the same design as the Proto Arus. You get the silver panel and the black panel combination for the rear. To me, this looks more like the traditional SUV look and rear spoiler and also the shark fin antenna. Now here you get black bumper together with a silver garnishing and also two rear sensor. This is the S variant, this is the highest variant for the Toyota Rush and also the reverse camera. Basically, there are nothing much changes compared to the Proto Arus, but Toyota offers you a better safety features and better spec. We'll find out in the interior. So let's get into the interior tour. Okay, one thing you will notice that Toyota Rush actually gives you the beige. For the door cast and also the dashboard, but they are hard plastic. But Toyota mold it to look like leather, so to me, this is the pretty good feature and design compared to the Proto Arus plain design. And also, here we get the fabric inserts, chrome door handle. Basically, they are similar to the Proto Arus, and also the steering wheel are the same, just that it changes to the Proto batch to Toyota. And the middle cluster are similar to the Proto Arus. 
you get seven airbags standard across the range and or hard plastic but to me i like this kind of design compared to the Prado arrows because Prado arrows they actually put a silver panel right here so to me it's a bit plain i personally prefer this kind of dashboard design it looks more modern and you get smart tag reader this is the front parking sensor activated this is the advanced safety assist on or off or the start stop and this is the Toyota in-house touchscreen head unit with Bluetooth connectivity function. So this is the vent which transfer the aircon air to the rear aircon middle row aircon vents. So it will it will cool the middle row and the third row seats faster. Down here you doesn't get a digital aircon as you get in the Prodo Arrows. But this is better quality and you get automatic function. This controls your temperature, this is control your fan speed. This is single zone climate control, four speed automatic. And this is the button to activate the panoramic view monitor. So 12 volt socket. And also USB ports. Let me open the lights to have better lighting. Here we got a storage tray. And three cup holders, as usual, like the Brodo Arrows, sunglass holder, manual dimming. Exclusive to the Toyota Rush, you get dash cam, anything mirror and lights for both sides. Steering mode the controls. So let's get to the rear seats. You get cup holders at the sides and also door cuts. So you get pretty decent leg room and headroom also pretty decent. But you get middle row aircon vents. So this is a great feature to me. Middle row dimming light and also the seats config configuration is same as the brother arrows tumbles form. So to gain access to the last row of seats, you can pull the lever at the side of the seat and it will tumble front to have better access to the rear. Pretty decent boot space when the third row seat is up. But when you fold the third row seat front, it will get pretty large boot space compared to its competitors and you get storage space and also cup holders for the third row passenger and also the 12 foot socket okay so now conclusion of the Toyota Rush so would you pay the price more than the Proto Arrows to get the similar card as the Proto Arrows so in my opinion, if you pay the price more than the Prado Arrows, you actually get a more complete car than the Prado Arrows. For example, you get a um, slightly tweaked software of the Advanced Safety Assist. And additional of the safety feature, you get 7 airbags. Uh, sorry, 6 airbags. Correct. And also, you get blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert for the Toyota Rush which you doesn't get for the Prado Arrows and you get better interior treatment like the white beige hard plastic it's not like leather but to me I like this kind of design and you get 360 view camera for such a long car they have and also the touch screen head unit is more it's more better compared to the Prado Arrows it's a bit laggy and the rear seats are also decently spacious otherwise the storage space are also everywhere in my opinion front door cuts rear door cuts and also the third row also get the storage space and also the middle row air convents is a big plus point 
So yeah, if you are a kind of person who just needs a SUV, a practical SUV, which is below 100,000 ringgit, you can also consider the Honda BRV or also his sibling, Perdo Arus, and also the Toda Sienta. So yeah, this is my initial conclusion about the 2019 Toda Rush. So if you have any question, you can also drop down at the comment section and let me know. And if you live in Seremba, you want to buy Toyota vehicle, you can also contact the showroom number. I will put the contact number at the description below, you can find it out. So you can support me by subscribing my channel, like and share my videos. So thank you guys and cheers.